Hello and welcome back to a brand new video of Fox Rex. Today we're checking out uh, from Cinema Wins everything great about the Disney movie in Kanto. Let's hop in. I can definitely say I haven't done this yet because according to what the video said, this only came out four days ago. Sure, the castle logo and Steamboat Willie let us know it's a Disney film, but let's be honest, the tragic backstory is really how we know we're in Disney territory. We wouldn't oh, be classic. Disney without the death of a loved one. I have to keep reminding myself that she had to lose her husband for this house to exist, because otherwise a self-building, self-cleaning house that's just like a cool pet yeah, is a pretty sweet deal. But this little detail that it's not quite it so welcoming outside the casita. Whatever gift awaits will be just as special. Assume. Aha, mm. some tricky wordplay there. We find out pretty early on That's that Mirabelle cute. doesn't have a gift in the traditional sense, but this is a stellar bait and switch. Oh. Morning, abuelo. Yeah, again, sorry about your abuelo. I want this house. Getting to the age where bending down to put shoes on sucks in this rocks. <laughs> I guess that could suck a bit. That's why you got. Never mind, never mind. The song has barely even started and it's already well, stuck got in my three head. Generations. You know that's the measure of song quality. Earworminess. This character design is so good. There's something very realistic yet purposely cartoony about it. More realistic bodies than classic Disney even if they <laughs> still have those Disney eyes. Also, I specifically didn't look up who was playing Mirabelle my first time through because you know how sometimes if it's an actor you know, it's hard for your brain to let them blend with the animated character? No, True. Just me? Well, anyway, it wouldn't I've have seen that many times Diaz like is the Ryan main thing I know Stephanie Beatrice is as, and I had no idea she could sing like this, and the voice she uses for Mirabelle is so unique, I can't separate it from Mirabelle. It's good. She's good. She's good. That's the lesson. What are your family? That's the lesson. Yes, that's the lesson. That's the lesson. That's the lesson. Oh. And that's why coffee's for grown-ups. <laughs> These kids are so stupid cute. That's how they get you. But coffee will stunt your growth. Steer clear, children. <laughs> oh, really? An old wives' tale. Okay, well, I looked it up, and there's oh, still wait, a bunch of reasons what? you shouldn't drink caffeine young. We don't talk about Bruno. There it is. <laughs> oh, that line's going to be stuck in all of our heads this whole video, so just embrace it. Also, all the yep, expressions in Mirabelle's little freeze frame, and then right back into the song. Obviously, Disney's always going to do their best to represent the culture of the people in their movies, but just briefly looking through traditional Colombian dance routines, the dress flipping seems to be a big part of it. But even oh, without yeah. that, the animation of her dance, her movements, everything is so hmm. smooth and fun to watch. It's very realistic, I gotta say. <laughs> We've got some genuine comedy. That borderline dangerous toss of the accordion and the band staring with just the goofiest looks on their faces. <laughs> They're like, come on, keep going, boy. Honestly, appreciate the recap because there was a lot to remember. <laughs> Holy crap, this song goes hard for an See, introduction it's so to everyone. Fast. I actually Marshall lose Mathis track of This change up in the pace of Mirabelle singing is so dang impressive. Obviously, Lynn Manuel is an absurd talent for writing it, but all the props to Stephanie Beatrice for 100% crushing it. Oh, Mirabelle didn't get one. Why does he and do that And here's the first sweet. glimpse that perhaps the family doesn't wonderful. understand or even care to understand how hard it must be for Mirabelle. I'm just as special as the rest of my family. Maybe your gift is being in denial. <laughs> Genuinely laughed Damn, out loud kid. at this one. It's so brutal and also might be my gift. Now that Mirabelle isn't entertaining the kids, her vibe is completely shifted. It sets up Ooh. the way Abuela kind of views her later as a hindrance who's kind of in the way. Ow. Seriously, this two seconds of Mirabelle's face is absolutely hilarious. The pure disdain. And the absolute disrespect. Ugh. Step aside. Let the rest of the family do what they do best. This is such a frustrating representation of a common family dynamic where one person is oh, always considered the screw-up. No matter though. what they when do, it's not enough because those in charge have made up their mind about Jerry Gergich. It's a real bummer, abuela. You're going to get your gift and open that <laughs> door and it's going to be the coolest ever. Wow. Mm -hmm. Class act, Mirabelle. This can't be easy. I have an amazing family. And an Family is indeed house. amazing. She's right important. about the house. I'm 50-50 on the fam so far. Some of them seem like jerks. And you might feel like I'm going hard on Mirabelle's family, and you're They're right, because I don't like a lot like of them, especially joke. some Everyone else is... of them. There's almost a classic Cinderella Good. vibe going Ish. on here at times. <laughs> Spanish songs in the English version of the film. And he's singing about party night, and I actually jumped the gun on the earworm song because this one has been Ooh. in my head for a week, which is tricky because I don't speak Espanol. Beautiful begonia beard. Okay, I think they're dying. Oh, like but the lie it. is worth the alliteration. Uh, uh. <laughs> Love the bokeh effect the candle gives off. A real magical touch, especially Ooh. for those of you into fast lenses. What an adorable, dapper bubbly. little gentleman. Easy there, Casita. There's helpful, and then there's pushy. I can't. I mean, what would have been, like, helpful? Just, like, doing a slight tap? Huh. I believe it's just like in, one, kind of like cool. what's cool, cool, up plus cool, cool, cool. one do with the dog, just like Great a little. Job. Honestly, it's amazing how stable Mirabelle Hopefully. is after experiencing know. this. Maybe that's her power. Being stable? I mean, I, it kind of is, actually. I how does that door you? just fade away? Of course they can come. 
best power, not even close. I oh. can lift weights, I can get a green thumb, I cannot talk to toucans or ride leopards no matter how much I practice. And <laughs> it's hinted that it'll be his power with the stuff he Mirable gives him. Almost like she knows what his power will be. Hmm. Wait, eh. if they get powers, they get magical more... rooms too? Okay, so you the know, only other people who don't have gifts are the spouses who live with the people that get. do. So essentially everyone it's in the house has an amazing room except happens. for Mirabelle. And that's why she was sharing a room with Antonio? Because he just moved into her room since she never moved out? Honestly, they're lucky she hasn't burned this house down. Hmm. That's some intense favoritism and neglect. Look at that dope capybara. Just chilling. Capybaras are awesome. Who doesn't love them? Suspicion. They're the biggest That's rodent of the rodent I know there's family, a whole and they're the in our chillest like, of animals. She's got her own baggage, but holy hot lava, abuela. Yeah, it's Antonio's day, but your giftless nieta is standing right there. Nobody yeah, noticed Mirabel wasn't means there. Ah, no, heck no. Seriously, this movie better turn out to be a fun Lin Manuel musical about a girl who kicks the snot out of her tactless, magic obsessed family, or I'm not. Oh. Well, you know what? See all of y'all in a moment. Sorry, but I just wanted the video to load some more. I'm sure I can stick with it. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. You're Honesty, only as fine listen up, as suckers. you let yourself Although I will be. say this is a super fun visual. They're not totally frozen, just slowed down as she sings around them. Are we sure this oh, isn't yeah. a gift? So she just asked the house for a miracle in her song, saying she was ready, and then the house gives her this vision. She just doesn't think of it as a miracle, Ooh. but in reality, it saves everyone in the long run because she does. The magic is strong, and so are the drinks. Did you so, just insinuate wait. that your 15-year-old Nieta is sloshed? I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and just um. assume Abuela is planning on getting crunk. <laughs> You know, my brother Bruno oh, lost his way in this Sorry. <laughs> <gasps> she talked about him. Also, no one is perfect, but it's nice to get a respite with Mirabelle's mother, who clearly loves her and doesn't agree with the way the family treats her. Also, when you start oh, thinking about yeah. her gift and how That's her husband mom, is always though. dealing with Moms these things, it makes sense that they kids. fell in love. You spend enough time healing someone and sparks can fly. Why is this happening? I don't know, but gaslighting your nieta probably isn't the solution, abuela. Yeah, no shit. Miracle. It's don't true. Her, like, like, maybe she them. is the miracle? Who could say at this point? Wait. How do I save a miracle? I don't in know. Moana, Maui called asked. the ocean kooky dukes, and people still ask why the ocean didn't just bring the heart back to Tafiti themselves. And I can't say for sure if I said this in my video, but I see the ocean just like I see Casita. It's somewhere between a pet and a very early development child, seen here mm. having no clue how to save a miracle and then slapping Camilo. <laughs> I could definitely see that. Funny. Wow, I love that so much. Pippa's clouds form when Maribel takes her seat, but as soon as her husband Felix touches her shoulder, she hey, calms Felix, down and the storm dissipates. Oof. Find you a safe space I like, like Felix. I told them to warm up your seat. What all the things? I don't is know why, but they look cute. Do we have a date? Tonight, he wants five babies. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> ah, so the Madrigals operate under the Picard Code of Ethics, where using uh -huh. Deanna's apathetic abilities to gain the upper hand is fine because Picard says so. This poor guy might want Wait, his proposal to that. be a surprise, you know? Is there something there with this one daisy? Does Abuela not like daisies? Does it just not fit into the perfectness of all the pink flowers? Is it's it actually a hint that, that Isabella isn't all that stoked on marrying what's his face? Lisa, the donkeys got out again. The voice actor for this one line really <laughs> swung for the fences with that voice. Agreed, Remember that, that tweet where the guy was confused why Aloy had a beard, but it was just peach fuzz that most mammals have? Yeah, good times. Anyway, I love the peach fuzz on Luis's neck. And I glow because I know what my worth is. A lot of wow, people have peach that's fuzz. That's a... That's and a guys, it can it grow sounds out totally more, positive like, and like something everyone would strive for until you realize that her point is that her worth is not so clean objectively shape, defined to, that like, she can't escape it. Up, it. Even if she'd rather not glow today, it doesn't like matter if there are old. mountains to move. Oh. Gonna go contemplate the cosmos for a bit. Was Hercules ever like, yo, I don't wanna fight Cerberus? The way this song starts what makes it seem Disney like movie? it's not gonna be a banger <laughs> unless you're super into talk singing, but then the chorus hits and it turns into a real banger. There's also a tone shift Truly, from her tougher tenor voice verses song. that are about hiding her true feelings, and then she uses her alto singing voice when she starts being honest about the pressure she feels. Oh, well, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. And I'll see y'all in a second. Let's keep trying. Also, these falling donkeys crack me up for some reason. It's such a great and weird background. It is. Are you trying to tell me those donkeys will choose to go down with the ship too? She even goes higher into a range when she dreams of a reality where she's free. The journey these donkeys are going on is really just top notch. Did I mention the song slaps? It, it slaps. <laughs> and I also love her dance sequence here, further solidifying that there's more to her than just lifting things up and putting them down. Also imagine going back to being a normal opinion, donkey after this life-changing song, song and dance sequence. Movie. Yeah. 
The whole we don't talk about Bruno is a system. very close ah, second. I get it because he can see the future. Yes, but I'm dumb. Which is part of we time. Hourglass equals time. Come on, people, keep up. But at least I'll have a friend. Nope, you flew away. Nope, you flew up. You <laughs> jackass. I bet the donkeys would have been down. Welcome Bullet. to the family, my Lego. There's so many stairs in the casa, my Lego. Parodying your own song with inventive uh, lyrics. Uh, uh, Appreciate the solidarity from Alan Tudican. Tudican. He doesn't have to look over the edge. He can fly. It's just a testament to how far we've come watching her dig for glowing green glass under sand. Everything moves so realistically. The green glow oh, in her well, face okay, is the here perfect we go. spot now between we realism and magic. Great. Well, back from the ad. Oh, the solitary granules of sand stuck to her arm. Clear skies. And close. Clear skies. The serenity now of the Encanto verse. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no. Like I Hope said, you're prepared this to is sing about that thing second. we don't talk about. Feels like a loophole, but holy cow, I love the Dutch tilt here that makes it feel like the entire house is shifting to keep Pip upright. Ooh. Which technically it may be. I can always hear him sort of muttering and mumbling. Look in the background. Him with the sound of fallen sand. Yeah, even if Dolores could hear him, she wouldn't think he was still there, so I guess she is. thinks it's in her head. She was right about the sand though. Also makes sense that the one with very attuned hearing would pretty much exclusively talk and sing in whispers. Also, also notice that she claps with just her fingers and also covers her ears oh. during fireworks. Such great touches. Also, holy yeah, crap, Bruno's right. dancing in the background. Right there. See? Dang it, you silly <laughs> musical. You knew I couldn't resist a medley really of verses like this. It really is an amazing song. Get me my head and crap. Also, it's super brutal when you realize Bruno is As sitting that. on the other side of this wall, As listening well. to them blaming all their problems on him. Abuela wants tonight to be perfect. Do the Guzmans leave? Do they not break into Bruno's tower? The magic is not dying. Kinda encapsulates the problem at the heart of this family it's that is Maribel's dying. gift to fix. And then it is. Miracles. <laughs> <laughs> that means Wednesday and also sort of sounds like miracles in English. But really, it's the similarity to another Spanish word that makes it a euphemistic curse, kind of like fudge in English. Or here's a good one. Shut the front door. He <laughs> looks back and forth. And just, <laughs> hey, it's Bruno's crack from the other side. Oh. Just me or did they model Julieta after Maria Portocalos? Kind of a cross between her and Aunt Vula. Everything um, is what? fine. We are the Madrigals! Look, she's got more going on than this, but Abuela's obsession with how she's perceived by the townspeople is so on the nose it stings the nostrils. Let it go, you man! Don't need Everyone, let it go! I heard this in a TikTok recently. You just need to be a loving so grandma. Quickly think of three things from your past that you did that make you physically cringe. I can think of like 18, but now think of one thing that someone else did that probably makes them cringe. <laughs> a lot harder, isn't it? We're all self-obsessed. No one remembers uh, that time I'm on vacation sorry. when you were nine this, and invited that 18-year-old girl to lie next to you on her towel by patting the dock and saying, there's plenty of room, Sarah, because you had a crazy crush on her and it was even weirder because she was a family friend. Like, you know how you have those families where you call the parents aunt and uncle, but there's no um, blood relation. You just spend a lot of time wait, with them. So she's kind of like a cousin, but not really. And something like that, but obviously not specifically that. That would be insane. You do. So... Chill out, Abuela. What the hell did I just <laughs> I miss? The vision what was I laughing green over? eyes that he had in the song. Also, that rat is pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting my niece <laughs> die. <laughs> oh, Best God. character introduction ever. Bye. Oh. <laughs> the comedy hasn't even well, started. All the patch is done by Hernando. Who is Hernando? I'm Hernando and I'm scared of nothing. <laughs> Seriously, how do you withhold like John Leguizamo for an hour of this I'm movie? Right. To I be fair, the, the quick cut makes it land. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to wonder if Jorge was the guy who asked Luisa to move the donkeys. 1990 World Cup? That was Ooh. Carlos Valderrama's team, although 94 was when I really fell in love with him. Even El Cole in the background. I wanted to make the family proud Neat. of me. That quick eyebrow raise from Bruno since he can fully relate. <laughs> the bread fell, oh. but where did Ratsmo go? That's what I named him, Ratsmo. He vaporized. The rats <laughs> told me yeah. they just grabbed Because off they're something. rats, like a, like a snitch, a rat, like the rat walking across the railing in The Departed. You with me? The rats told me Was that yeah. rat about to lick the brush? <laughs> Such purely perfect timing. Like, and the rats are totally clueless to their impending doom. And you need to get out of here. So Bruno has been living in the walls of Casita and it shows. Dude clearly hasn't seen the sun in years. Yeah, he does look a little pale. I Even I didn't realize my that. Daughter. Extra bravery points. Not only is he going up against Abuela, but Abuela is his mother-in-law. Rest in peace, King. <laughs> Capybaras really are um, the best. Official favorite character. <laughs> Get this guy a Charles Plus series. Ah, sorry, no one a Disney kills Plus series. when it's the Capybara. <laughs> like the Capybara is like... Inappropriate reaction. Dude, Let that furry little loaf of sourdough stay put. Is that a hug? Am I biting or hugging? Been there. It appears to be a hug. That's great. <gasps> well, not everyone can be happy. <laughs> it's hard being Bruno. Freedom, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> it does seem like the cooler the power, the worse it is when you can't control it. There's probably a lesson in there, but eh, lesson schmessens. <laughs> You're exactly Maybe. what this family needs. Amazing what being neglected and treated poorly can do to your intuition and empathy for others. Hmm. That sounded like an encouragement to treat people poorly. No, I'm, I'm saying Bruno sees Mirabelle's value because his gift made him an outcast, so mm -hmm. he can easily relate. You're afraid Abuela will see you. Yep, I mean, yes. Yeah, obviously. Too. I gotta go back I mean, in the it's wall. it's not like Abuela isn't scary. Just gonna save the miracle with a hug. <laughs> Again, uh -huh. the comedic delivery in this film is so on point. Oh, Getting that some is poison ivy vibes, right. which I have to imagine she technically has the capacity for. I'm saying this could be a villain origin story, and I wouldn't hate it. Isa, I feel origin like story. you're upset. What, like poison ah, ivy? I see someone has been trained in eye messaging style of communication. Oh, I hold feel, on, folks. I we got noticed, another ad. I farted, etc. Well, back from the ad. I've been stuck being perfect my whole entire life. Okay. Again, it's a similar line to what Luisa said earlier. I may just have a harder time commiserating with this one. However, it truly is the same because hmm. the issue is not whether she is perfect or whether she feels perfect. She it's the expectation that she be perfect and what her perfection means for the family. Like and that in turn has limited what she can do with her gift. Growing the cactus proves that she's been holding back. When you know who you <laughs> this play <laughs> seems intentional, which, yeah, subconsciously, I suppose. I mean, these are still all beautiful flowers. Talk about repression. Yeah, they all beautiful flowers. With you. Bruno Strange, but beautiful. Because of you. Okay, I think it's official. Scar is a better family member than Abuela. Okay, Jorge got out, but what about Bruno? Even now, Abuela doesn't call for Mirabelle <laughs> to like, save herself. Right, she still kind of thinks it'd be worth it if Mirabelle died, wall. but the miracle was saved. Ursula level right there. She's got a lot of work to do here. Good, after throwing it away, he's put off the stuff forever. Or at least until he's older, when being addicted to substances is okay? God, I, I think he just lost the cup is what it is. To be something I'm not. He threw Oof, the cup because relatable. he didn't want to love a love so montage. And you know what they say, a love montage is the fastest way to triplets. Okay, <laughs> I'm coming around. It makes sense that Abuela is a mess. The trauma of your husband being murdered in front of you and that murder being the catalyst for the happiness and safety of not that. only you and your family, but also your whole community has got to have a pretty substantial effect on how you interact with people. It's like surprisingly brutal but still somehow still very disney I just brutally disney that was a new tone we need to start using brutally disney you. and that makes sense abuela has no magical powers and at least in theory runs the encanto but she ain't exactly young and somebody needs to step in soon and did mm -hmm. i mention they've been hinting at it all along open your eyes open your eyes i gave her a vision <laughs> It was me! Aw, I love that Bruno won't let Mirabelle take the fall. Get you a T.O. like Bruno. More hug. Uh. The miracle is you. Finally, Abuela gets it. Let it snow, let it go! That's why I'm always saying, bro. Elsa's gonna come for you, Bruins. I'm saying, wow, bro. I see. I see. Me. Uh. All of me. Well, crap. I didn't think I was gonna cry, but there we go. Self-acceptance is powerful stuff. And in case it wasn't oh, clear, Bruno's that's Mirabelle's door now. now. She's the one in front. I mean, like his own kids and you wife You think Asita retained nah, her memories? You like, know what the hell I meant. Slated? Do houses have memories? It's more like does the magic have memories. Did I mention this song slaps? Have fun with it in your head for the next week. Talented rat. <laughs> the thing most people walk away from this movie asking is, so what the heck? What was Mirabelle's gift? And that's fine. It's not super clear. But the more you think about the movie, you realize that the gifts kind of weren't all they were cracked up to be. The way eventually. I see it, there are three different levels of how the gifts affect the Madrigals. Julieta, Antonio, Camilo, and Peppa pretty much all accept their gifts for what they are. Julieta's is obviously the easiest and seemingly only ever has positive outcomes. <laughs> Antonio and Camilo are pretty new to theirs, so while they yep. may land in level two, for now they're happy. Peppa's causes problems for her, but she doesn't seem to resent it at all. It's just part of her. And the power to bring forth rain during a drought oh, yeah. would be a huge deal. The next level is where Dolores, Isabella, and Luisa fit. Outwardly, their gifts seem perfect. No one would be able to imagine a complaint perfect, they could have, including their cousin slash amazing. sister Mirabelle. Dolores doesn't complain too much, but it's clear that she's affected by her gift. She doesn't have to perform the same way that Isa and Luisa do, but hearing yeah, every under the breath mumble all the time Being would get tired. But also, just everything? a little side note, she gets to make this tiny little Definitely noise all the time, and it's pretty much the cutest thing ever. But for both Issa and Luisa, the pressure that. almost supersedes the positives of the gift. They both come to terms with better ways to cope, but I'm sure there are days that they wish they could just be normal. And then we have the third level, Bruno. He sees his Ooh. gift as a curse. Whenever he uses it, people get upset, and it got so bad that he had to leave the family. 
so well, it'd be easy to see that even the most wall, innocuous I gift like Julieta has comes with a whole host of issues. She has God, to cook like, like would be all the so time. Then it's on her if someone gets sick. Angle, it's on her if someone dies. Back. Now you could just say that this is part of life for everyone. Everyone has responsibilities to their family and or community, and there's pressure to fulfill your duties, and when you don't, bad things happen. They're just dialed up to 11 for the Madrigals. It's easy to draw parallels with real life because we all deal with pressure and stress in different ways. Abuela True. deals with it stress and is for most of the movie, but she comes well, around the end. Difficult and that brings us to Mirabel. So, you can never really control what is Mirabel's right. gift, right? Well, like Abuela said, she is the gift. But it actually goes deeper than that. The reason she doesn't have a room is because just like Abuela, the entire house is her room. That Ooh, part is pretty explicit no, with the doorknob, but what maybe isn't super clear is that Mirabel is meant to be Abuela's replacement. The but first act the spent a lot comes. of time showing us how helpful Mirabel is. Even if it seems like she's always in the way, it's because there's unrest in the family. Her relationship with Isabella, mm. which was step one of fixing the house, and then step two, her relationship with Abuela, which actually had more to do with Abuela's relationship with magic and with the family's gifts. She yeah, felt the need to control sense. everything to the point that she was neglecting and continually Mirabel wounding her grandchild. No amount of magic makes up for that. So she needed to let well, go and accept Mirabel for who she was, not house? constantly shame her for not having a gift. Uh, but it even goes beyond the that, the house and it's pretty evident in the visuals of the house, movie. Then. The most obvious is the butterfly. The one Mirabel has butterflies all. all over her outfit, and they're the final key in Bruno's vision as if it was all predestined. You may not have even noticed that there's a butterfly on the candle. Mirabel is meant to be the next candle bearer. At least that's how I saw it. It's a complete story about this other Disney movie that could do a sequel, I think. Just bringing this cast back together would be worth it. Stephanie Beatriz in particular. Rosa from Brooklyn Nine-Nine is such a great character, and Mirabel is in an entirely different universe, and she nails it. The animation has to keep up with her expressive delivery and not the other way around. And speaking of not being typecast, I did a double take when I saw that Jane from Doom Patrol was Isabella, or Flaka's best friend Maritza, if you prefer. She oh, really nailed her okay. solo. Maria Cecilia yeah, Montero was perfect people, as Abuela. You can hear the passing of time and hurt in her voice from the first line she speaks. And while at times she is hard to love, she's perfectly cast. And besides Stephanie Beatriz, the real standout is John Leguizamo. I hope this man gets the credit he deserves someday. His he performance was an as amazing Bruno, Bruno is short but memorable. He pulls off the loneliness and fear of an outcast beautifully. So that's that. Another one in the bag for Disney. Apparently Lin-Manuel Miranda cannot be stopped. Next week, a movie that sort of hates itself for existing, but like, in a good way? Fight Club? Fight Club, my guess. A score of 132 for Back to the Cafe. Huh. Oh, because of the coffee, that's right. <laughs> well, with that, folks, I think that's where we're going to end off today's video. So, I want you all to remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video, so remember to support the original creator and all they do. And I'll see all of you folks next time. Peace out.